morning, announcing the commencement of the annual purge. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States. The billionaire entrepreneur, TV reality star, has defeated the candidate once figured to be undefeated. nightmare a real life purge real life hunger games this is some great this is some crazy shit i just wanted to talk for a little bit and uh bring up the situation because i feel like i can't continue to put out any more content without acknowledging what the f just happened i remember six months ago us watching and us looking like oh wow trump wants to become president <laughs> that's hella funny how could a businessman that has no political experience at all become president we're over there laughing like haha he's crazy that's crazy and then he won the primary we're like wow wow they really out here trying to you know what i'm saying trying to help him become president ha and then us watching on election night like uh this is not this is america though Listen, I know some of you guys are really mad right now because you can't make light of this subject, but what else can I do? Like, literally, what else can I do? I'm so angry right now, I wanna punch a few electorals in their face, but I can't do that. Reality is that this came true, and I have reasons in my mind because I am an educated and intelligent woman, so I have reasons why this could have happened other than there's so many racist and misogynistic and sexist and homophobic people out there. Yes, that is true. I have to make logical reasons behind this, and I do have some stuff and some reasons, and I'm gonna put them in the description, but other than that, I'm just confused on how these votes happen. Like, I just feel like this shit might have been rigged. Like, there has to be some software out there that created this to happen. Other than that crazy lady I showed you guys on a vlog, I have yet to meet a Trump supporter. I have not one person on my social media, unless they're in hiding, but you would think that they don't wanna be in hiding anymore because their dreams came true. I feel like it's a responsibility of mine to acknowledge the craziness so here's me acknowledging but at the end of the day you know what this is still our america we still make decisions we still can make change in the positive direction we can still treat each other with respect and care that it still has to do with us we have to and we are going to move forward with our lives this person in the office does not determine who we are as people what we do with our lives moving forward we will still Create opportunities for ourselves. Let's just prepare for war in many ways than one with our brains, with education, with positivity and change. At the same time, we need to continue to put ourselves in a better position to make sure that when our time, the younger generation, when our time is right, we can set our future. The right people making decisions, we have to do better. And we will still allow the things that we want to happen, happen. And that's all I have to say. So that includes me. Believe me, I'm ready. I'm doing what I need to do to make sure that I can help in any way to make our future better. I just cannot believe our first black president is giving up the White House to a racist, misogynistic, blah, 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 blah. We already know all of that. That's crazy. I think we just lit a fire up under our ass and we know we have to do more and I'm cool with that. 
We are not gonna be out here doing crazy shit, but if some crazy shit rolls up on us, we just gonna be prepared. So, I'ma see you guys soon. We gonna bring out some uh, content. We gonna lift up our spirits a little bit. We gonna hold our head up high, and we not gonna let them take us into the night without a fight, you feel me? So that's all I have to say. Oh Lord, get me off the video. Get me off the video. Get me off the video. Ah.